I did it. I finally went live. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Abby, and if you are new, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for sticking around. On my channel going forward, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the best content marketing strategies and also social media marketing strategies. And today specifically, I wanna to talk to you about Instagram marketing, and even more specifically, IG Live. Now, we all have this weird, unknown fear of going live. Maybe not everybody, but I know a lot of people have a fear of going live on IG, uh, Instagram, or Facebook, or whatever it may be. And you know, I just decided I need to go live. Why haven't I gone live? How do I have a digital marketing agency and I'm not even using social media to its full advantage? So I decided to go live and I did it. And it was not, there wasn't anything crazy about it. But when I went live, I used slides and that for some reason just made it so much easier. So in today's video, I wanna share with you how to go live using IG slides, the benefits of using slides that I found at least, also how to make your own slides using Canva because it's my fave. And if you stick around till the end, I'll share with you a free Canva template that I created that you can download and use if you don't want to start from scratch. So first, let me just show you how to go live on IG using slides. And to do that, I'm gonna show you on my phone. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and go on Instagram. So I have an account that has no followers, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that account to show you how to go live using slides. First, you're gonna go in like you're posting a story. And then when you're on your home screen here, once you've clicked into posting the story, you'll actually see it gives you an option. You can either post a story and then to the left of it, live and then to the right it says real so you can just go to live and when you're in there in live hi here i am once you click go live and then you go live on the very right corner you'll see a little box and it'll show whatever your last picture was and no one's going to see these pictures only you so what i did was i had my slides already created on canva and then i downloaded it and just had it ready to go so when you are live only you can see this view that i'm showing you here on the screen once you select the slide that you want to use the slide will pop up and then you will go to the top right hand corner and so that's where your your face will be and as you want to change slides all you do is just select the photo and if you want to get out of the slides and just show your face again you just click on your face and the slides will go to the top right but if you do not want to show that you can just slide all the way to the end and then choose the I don't know what to call that but where it's like a, a no pretty much <laughs> then that's how you use slides so it's really that simple the way you can use slides and it doesn't have to be slides you can show photos you know whatever it is you want to share on your IG live but for me the ve the benefits I found about using slides is if you are anxious about going live or you don't feel comfortable, it is just a way to actually keep you on track. Like, so for me, sometimes I end up going all over the place when I start talking and I get carried away. Having the slides there just reminded me like, hey, this is your point, this is where you need to stick to. It's kind of just giving like a presentation in school. You know, you have your PowerPoint slides up and you follow the slides, it's something like that. And for me, because I'm, I was used to doing stuff like that all along and I have no problem with public speaking, it just made going live feel like that in a way. So those were a couple benefits I had with it. And also there was just something about it not like me just not staring at my face the whole time and actually having something to stare at while I talk about it that just took the pressure off a little bit. It's like, it's not just you're not just staring at my face, you know, the people that are viewing, you're viewing what I am telling you about. So I would recommend this, especially if you are in business and you're using Instagram for social media marketing, then this is something I would recommend. Okay, so now we'll hop on my computer and I will show you how to create your own slides using the free online um, design software, Canva. And it's actually very easy to do. It's not hard at all. But if you don't want to start from scratch, I will share the template I create. So you can download that and just make changes to it as you wish. So here we are on my computer. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go, and go ahead and go to canva.com. I already have it here as a shortcut. And once you're in Canva, you wanna go ahead and create a design. And if you do not have a Canva account, it is free to create. Um, I will include a link below and um, I have a Canva Pro account. I'll include the link below to where you can um, test it out for 30 days. But this is free to do, Canva is free to use. Um, Canva Pro just has more graphics and more, um, just a few more things that you can do with it. So you go ahead and go to create a design and 
you're going to want to use the Instagram story. Now, once you're here, I personally just like to start from scratch with a blank canvas, but they do have um, some templates here. So then what I did previously is I went live on my Instagram account um, uh, and I took a screenshot of what it would look like once I'm using slides. So I'll go ahead and just drag it in here. So this is the screenshot from going live. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it out. And the reason why I did this is just so I can see where my face would go. And what I did was I just went into elements and just inserted a shape that's similar to this. So if you go to see all, you'll see all of the shapes and this one is the similar shape. And then I went and put it over it. Now what you can do is say this is the color you want to use. You can go ahead and make this transparent just so you can see that um, it's at least spaced correctly. And you don't have to use this, but I just like that there was a border around my my face on my screen so that way it pops out a little bit more. And then what you want to be mindful of also, and I'll, maybe I'll include this here, is that this area right here, you don't want to include anything there. So if you're making the slides, you don't want to have any important like wording here. You want to basically stay here in this center area. Okay, here are my Instagram posts. Let's say I want to use this quote. Now I would just copy it and for you, I'll show you how you can use it without having something already created. But so pretty much here, this is if I was going to use this as a slide, this is where I would want the, the text to show up. I don't want it here because in case there's chat going on, people won't you know necessarily be able to see it too well. Um, you can have it come up all the way up here, but um, I would say just be careful of putting anything down here. So this is just an example of how I did my slides. I just used uh, some quotes that I already put in my Instagram um, post and just copied it on over. But if you were starting from scratch, you can just go and go to text and then add your heading. Um, say you were going to do, you know, a, a cover page, you can do that. Say you are doing a live on how to stay fearless let's just say that but once you have this main slide done you can just copy and add more text here to whatever your next slide is so let's say your next slide you just want to add some wording about staying fearless so you just go ahead and add your words here and you can add images and videos and everything as well in here that you can use so um, Canva has some clip art and images and some of them are available for free and some of them are not free. Some of them you would need to have a Canva Pro account. So let's say you want to use this in there. You can do that. And another thing you can do is you can put like your logo here. If you are, you have a business and you're using your Instagram for business, you can put your logo or put your website. Um, you can put your website down here. I have my Instagram. That's just how you can easily create a slide template. But like I said, if you wanted to use some of the templates that they have, you can use these here. You would just have to play around and move things around. So let's say we liked this one. So you can easily use this. But what I would do is this template that I'm going to give you since I'll have this guide here, you can just go ahead and um, copy it and that's control C or command C and then come down here, command V or control V and you can see now everything that's not going to show too well. So you might want to move these areas up a little bit, you know, maybe don't put these texts down here. And once you're done, all you have to do is remember to delete this guide here. And also go ahead and copy this over. And you'll need to delete the guide for every slide that you do, unless you want to just keep it that, you know, different color. It can be part of your design. So this right here would be your 
slide that you would be using for going live and this is actually a cool design so I'll, I'll maybe just leave this on there and just change things around a little bit but what you do need to remember is once you create which I didn't do earlier but once you create this template you can delete the background you don't want to have that um, that showing that you use as a guide so once you delete that it'll look like this and then just be sure to put this back to 100% transparency and this is the guide I'm talking about that you can delete or you can leave it there if you would like as part of your design so it's really that simple when you're ready you can go ahead and go to download and if you want to download all of your pages say these are all your slides you can just download it and it'll save it as a zip file you'll just have to unzip it and then send it over to your phone so you have it ready when you're going live now um, one way I like to do it from my Mac since I have an iPhone is I just um, airdrop it and that just makes it so much easier I just airdrop it directly to my phone and if you wanted to just download a few slides from there you just click the drop down list here and then select the ones that you want but yeah just be sure you don't forget to delete the guide and if you are getting this template the guide will be already deleted the, um, the one that we had as a screenshot okay so here are the templates I've created I'm gonna go ahead and show you them I decided to add a few fun ones at the end using some of the canva templates so um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that to change the color of this box you just go ahead and select here at the top here and then you can choose whatever color you want here I have these colors saved because I have Canva Pro but you can just select colors from here or you can just go ahead and type in what color you're looking for and it will pull up all the colors that are similar and another thing is say you don't want this to be behind your your photo or your um, what your screen is where your face will be you can just simply delete it maybe you don't want the outline like let's say for some of these uh, more designed ones at the end you can see the outline kind of goes over it now you can either make this smaller and just move it to where it's centered or you can just simply delete this and then it won't be there anymore but your face will be there or whatever it is you're showing in the recording so I'm gonna go ahead and include a link below where you can download it will be pretty simple once you click the link it will take you to a landing page that will show you you know where you would put your name and email and um, once you do that I will go ahead and send you the template and you if you don't have a canva account you would need to create one if you already have one it'll just open up in your canva and you can just say use template so it's that simple so that is it i really hope that you took some value from this video and that you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and more content i have coming up for you and if you have any questions about instagram instagram live and just using instagram for social media marketing go ahead and drop them in the comments below i am happy to share with you what i know and just let me know if there are any videos that you would like to see having to do with content marketing or social media tips and i will catch you next time bye